Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. One month ago, Dauntless exploded onto the gaming world following its full release. The blend of hack and slash action, composed tactics, modification, and awesome behemoth designs had us all enthralled. But just like many other games which want us to come back regularly, a future plan or a roadmap must be in place. I've been looking into the future of Dauntless and oh yes, this game has lots in store for us in the coming weeks, months, and years. Here are 11 new things coming soon to Dauntless, so let me know in the comments which of these is your most anticipated. Oh, and before I go any further, a huge thank you to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. I love you 3000. Let's start with something which actually isn't coming soon. It's because it's already here. If you have PS Plus or Twitch Prime, you have free items and loot waiting for you right now. Pause this video and go get them. On the PS4, we have PlayStation themed weapon skins. The Ostian Steel Set Model P, which comes in the blue you associate with PlayStation. And if you have Amazon Prime, then indeed you have Twitch Prime and can get your hands on even more loot right now. As I'm writing this, you can pick up a brand new set of cosmetic armor, two in-game titles, a purple dye, supplies, and lots of other goodies too. And to link this back to the title of the video, there will be three more loot drops over the summer on Twitch Prime. And judging by the PS Plus imagery, we might be getting PlayStation armor in the future too. So free stuff, now and in the coming months. Get on that and embrace the fashion element of Dauntless. And yes, if you're wondering, I bought the Renegade die pack from the store. <laughs> it's, it's like it's made for me. My community are called the Renegades and the core colours I use are blue and pink. I could not resist. <laughs> This leads to my next point, new cosmetic slots are coming very soon. We will soon be able to apply vanity items to our head and back. The example given was a halo and wings. Visually, this will be similar to how back blings work in Fortnite. This will allow us to look our way, embrace our own styles. All I need is a bright pink guitar, if you're, if you're listening, Dauntless Masters. <laughs> the head items seemed like a great idea too. Imagine rocking your favourite cap or something random like devil horns. The more I think about it, the more I need this. The only game I can think that has done headwear very well in the past is none other than Team Fortress 2. I don't know about you, but I'm prepared to spend so much platinum on these items to stand out from the crowd and be unique. I'm going to be absolutely skinned. Oh, and by the way, if you pick up the Hunt Pass or any items in the store, please think about using code ADAMARU, as that helps me create more content based around Dauntless. Another much anticipated update coming soon is to bring the world to life just a little bit more. At present, it sometimes feels like being placed on a battlefield rather than a living, breathing world, but that will change very soon. By now, I know you've fought the Boreas. One of his unique traits is to bring in little minion creatures to fight by his side. Having those to worry about and the behemoth itself makes the battle so interesting. Keep that in mind because soon the entire map will have its own life forms to watch out for. Described as slugs who can interfere with our hunts. It's unclear if they are friend or foe to the behemoths you're hunting, but they'll most definitely get in our way. I see this as the first step to witnessing living worlds with unique creatures in each biome. It may be a little further off than the word soon, but I have faith that Dauntless will continue to build on its very strong foundations. Let's move on to combat and how this will be improved, refined and expanded upon. The first highly notable improvement is the incoming Terra debuff. At present, you're likely using your shock weapons, blaze and frost weapons because of their ability to apply a status on the behemoth you're fighting. Blaze burns the beasts, frost slows them down. So what will Terra do? Well, this will be a game changer. Terra debuff will siphon health from the behemoth, taking it from that big bugger and giving that lovely life force to us and our crew of misfits. Essentially meaning the more we pound on the behemoth during the debuff, the more we are rewarded with health. Terror weapons will soon become a commodity to hunts, so have a few terror weapons leveled up, ready to take advantage. Many players are now reaching the end game, and keeping those players enthralled is a priority for the Dauntless team. One update in particular looks interesting for you veterans, trials and trials modifiers. As the name suggests, 
Trials will be difficult. A real dedication is needed to fight these behemoths. Mechanically, it's about smashing behemoth skills together to make an overpowered behemoth difficult to take down. So combining behemoth attributes and modifiers to change a standard battle into something legendary in difficulty. This activity will require thought, team cohesion and dedication to overcome the challenge. The example modifier depicts a Razor Wing Karabakh and Koshai's Vine and Shield and reduced damage to standard attacks. That will definitely create a complex fight. Being forced to change our loadouts and builds, utilizing mods in unique ways to overcome that challenge will be the driving force behind this game mode. True end game content. Definitely for the die hard veterans. And of course, you know the vanity rewards will be to die for. I need to man up and get to the end game as quick as possible. Trials will have its own currency by the way too, rewarded for completing hunts. And there's an add-on to this, leaderboards. If you're sick of your mate claiming his squad is better than yours, then it'll be time to prove it. The slayers who complete the trials the quickest will sit higher up on the leaderboard. Just remember your Latin, actor non verba. Actions speak louder than words. So put your toxic friend on alert. Also, I'm prepared to be the guy at the bottom of the leaderboard. I wonder if I can have a weapon skin like a wooden spoon. And to complete your trials information, completing endgame content like trials will give us access to Lady Luck's store. Her new shop, opening just off Ramsgate Plaza, which will stock an exclusive assortment of weapon mods, weapon specials, cells and cosmetics. Oh, I love cosmetics. This proves that endgame is just the beginning for Dauntless, building our ultimate character with mods, specials and of course those very important vanity items too. I'm sure you'll agree, exciting times ahead. So I'm sure you've noticed that I'm a PlayStation gamer. I'm so embedded in that ecosystem that it's part of my channel name, but I adore all gaming platforms. If you play on PC, fantastic. If you prefer Xbox, it's all good. But something coming which could impact us all when away from our desk or our man cave or whatever the heck you call your gaming space. Both Switch and mobile versions of Dauntless are in the works. The Switch version is far, far, far closer to fruition than the mobile version, but the ability to hunt anywhere you can muster an internet signal needs to be shared. We have cross-platform play and cross-progression too, so gaming on the go and hunting on the go will be here soon. No longer will we miss those daily hunt pass collectibles, or that hour off your friends have just to quickly run a hunt. There is no release date set for the mobile or Switch version, but judging by the Switch build at E3, it's pretty damn close, on the Switch at least. Let's move over to the Hunt Pass. The current season, how are you doing? I'm progressing okay, I'm pretty happy. I'm almost through it and some of the vanity items really do impress me. Like, come on, who doesn't love to do push-ups like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast? I bet you didn't think you were gonna get a Beauty and the Beast reference. Anyway, the hammer skin in the Hunt Pass is legit my favorite weapon skin ever created. But what does the future hold? The evolution of the Hunt Pass will be known as High Skies. A mysterious new figure will arrive in Ramsgate, but let's look at the official blurb here. High Skies delivers a new Hunt Pass to slayers striving for seasonal glory. Sail all the way to level 50 to earn skins for each of your six weapon types, plus a complete set of cosmetic Corsair armor. And just hold on for a second, if you don't speak traditional English, which nobody does anymore, you may think Corsair means a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> but alas, Corsairs refer to raiders or pirates rather and buccaneers. So from that, we can surmise we're gonna be sky pirates. Oh yeah, I'm so down with that, yes please. I legit can't wait to see the weapon skins. Oh and by the way, why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. Sorry about that. <laughs> Moving on. There's a few smaller updates which can't be talked about in depth, but are certainly worth your attention. Firstly, a new dire behemoth is on its way, the Winterhorn's Grave. We have one sentence to tease us, which reads, the Winterhorn's Grave is coming out of hibernation with a new set of skills and an upgrade for your Scrave armor set. Look for this dire in the depths of the Maelstrom. Sounds good, doesn't it? The Winterhorn Scrape is set to arrive in early July, so now is the time to max out your frost armor and those blaze weapons too. Be prepared for a bad Game of Thrones impression. Winter is coming. 
And one last little tidbit, another minor update which will improve our quality of life is centered around the updated loadout screen, which will be updated again very soon. We'll be given the ability to save entire loadouts, easily switching multiple gear and cell configs, which will in turn streamline our approach pre-hunt. A minor but hugely impactful update. GG devs. So that's where we stand. Now is a great time to be a Dauntless player and the future looks bright. Thanks for watching, I hugely appreciate it and thank you once again to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. Right, I'm going to play more Dauntless and finish my hunt pass before the Sky Pirates arrive. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. Come over and talk to me on Twitter please. I'm active there every day. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.